what's up guys welcome back to the channel and in this video i'll be paying tribute to the great kevin conroy the voice of batman in the animated series the tribute i'm doing today is i'm doing the drawing of batman on my sketch pad in marker first i'm sketching the outline of batman and the batman i'm doing is from the animated series where he voiced for many years right so i'm just sketching the outline it's a profile shot of uh batman looking up and one thing about um animated series the lines are straightforward the lines tell the whole story as with many animated shows because it just makes it all around easier to get the characters done and to get the, the workload and simplify the characters, you know, so you can, um, you don't want to have too many intricate details. So as you see here, I'm getting the um, profile down. And even though it is in animated style, you still need to get the lines precise so you capture the feel of that character, of the character you are doing. So now we are just putting in um, place the reflected light, his eye. And once that is done, just erasing any excess lines. So I make sure the main lines are there and I know where I'm going with it. And once that is done, we go to the Copic marker, black, and we just go for it. And one thing I would suggest before you even do your outline, just make sure you see the whole direction of your line. So it's just fluid, all right? You don't want no stop and go lines. You wanna go through the whole shape. whole length of the line should be flowing and that's just gonna make your character pop so that's what I'm doing here you see I'm not stopping every line I do I'm just following through with it because even if it doesn't come out exactly the way you wanted it the viewer would not be able to tell because it still will look confident so now we are just going through and uh, getting this black down pat. And I'm and the th cool thing about the Copec marker is it has the, the thick side and the thin side. So we are on the thick side here and just flowing. And with markers, you definitely want to stay in the same direction. So I started going uh, up and down and that is what I am continually doing. At least for the majority of it. When you get to the to more detailed lines you need, you could change directions. But for the majority of the character, I'm staying up and down. So now I'm on the thin side, just getting the details in. And I save that so when the lines touch each other, I can still tighten up the lines. And we are just about done with the black. Now, I'm gonna erase any excess lines. The reason I didn't do that because the black when I, the black was just gonna go over the pencil. So I waited till I did the black, cause you don't want the pencil to, you know, taint any of the colors that you're using. So try to get rid of as much pencil as you can. And I went from a kneaded eraser to a black eraser. So make sure, and now it's on to the blue. And we are just going for it. in and 
Copic, Copic markers are very vibrant. And they're the type of markers, even if you do go in other directions, they blend pretty good. So you can still come back and do another layer on top of that and kind of tighten up the, any imperfections that you find. So now we are on to the face and which is the skin tone, just getting the nose. And these markers are the Artist Loft. I didn't have uh, the skin tone in the Copic, they ran out. So it's good to have uh, another set of markers. And these are good markers also. And they're not as expensive as the Copic. So it's come tightening the shadows of the face. And we are getting to the end. Just some final little details. Tighten up any um, loose lines and try to make the one tone meet the next line and fix it up. Last little touch-ups. Then there you have it, folks. We are done. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, smack the like button, hit the subscribe, leave me a comment, let me know what you thought. Let me know if you were a fan of the animated series, Batman, and rest in peace to Kevin Conroy. And thank you for the great childhood experience. This was one of my favorite animated shows. So until next time, y'all be good and be safe. Peace.